Hi, this is Jonathan Rotz, field agronomist for Pioneer. And I'm back here once again in the field that we've been talking about a few times this year when we're looking at cover crop. Now, once again, if we think back on this field, we visited it once early to talk about when do we time burn downs, another time late to look at exactly how the producer was planting through large cover. And coming back now, uh, late July, to look at some of the benefits of cover. Now you'll still notice there's a lot of cover here left. And for some folks, they look at that and say, that's great. We have a mulch here that has kept the little bit of rain that we have had from, from evaporating off the soil surface. Prior to canopy cover, this kept our soils cool. It's providing lots of uh, biological activity. Our earthworms are feeding on it and other uh, organisms are, are down through, you know, all sorts of different benefits. Now it can provide some challenges as well. As we talked earlier, getting a stand planting and having a good stand come up can sometimes be a challenge. The other thing is making sure that we have our nutrients not only getting through this as we apply, but also making sure that they are not locked up in this and unavailable for the plant. As you can see, overall our, our plants are pretty healthy. We do have drought in this area right now, so we're, we're seeing a little bit of an influence from that but overall, not too big of an issue. In this field, we also have some other interesting observations. Here you can see where we're looking. The cover crop was terminated relatively late when we had lots of stem elongation. And this has made a high carbon product that's gonna stay on that ground and, and maintain that cover for a long period of time. Now, I'm right at the split here with an area that we've actually can see was terminated at a younger growth stage. So this was planted a little bit later and we had less growth at the time of termination. And you can see a lot less biomass on the ground here. This gives you another idea of ways that you could manage a cover crop depending on what exact outcome you're looking for. A high residue that's going to last throughout the season. Also, um, the only negative there is possibly binding some nutrients versus lower residue that's going to release back in, but we're going to have less ground cover, conserving moisture, fighting weeds, and keeping the soil cool. Now I'm in another field, similar to the one we had last, where we have a large cover that was rolled down and sprayed on my right. And then as we move across to the left, we can see an area that was sprayed earlier and has less cover. And what's the obvious question that we all ask? Well, what's the yield gonna be? This is where I'd like to make a comment about some of the things that Pioneer's Agronomy Sciences are doing to help you out on your operation, where we're looking into all sorts of different things from planting population studies, fertility, even cover crop termination timing. This is one of the cover crop termination uh, study sites that we have where we're going to actually look at what does yield look like based on timing and size of cover crop at the end. If any of these agronomic topics are interesting to you, contact your local field agronomist or pioneer sales rep or territory manager and ask for some of the results over the winter whenever we compile this data. As we've talked about before, if you're interested in changing some of these things, also think about talking to your granular insights business manager about some of the options for carbon credits and payments off of that that may be, ha may be available if you decide to change cover crop termination timing or things like that. I hope you found this video informative and helpful for your operation. I hope you have continued success throughout this year with your Pioneer products and have a great day. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.